Hey guys, it's Ryan Hoffman here, and it is crazy busy, so we're going to be really fast today. Now, uh, two things. I want to give you a little bit, a little hint and a little invite. Uh, one, um, if you want to know what's going on in the market, the guidelines change so darn fast. I've had to set up a weekly video conference to just uh, for just 10 minutes to go over what programs are changing, and then anything additional is just Q&A at the end. So I'm just going to cover very, very quickly because everybody is zoomed out at this point, but we're going to do a quick update on guidelines, what programs are coming and going, coming back, being pulled back, guidelines, major changes with FHA and VA and all that fun stuff. So we'll do that. There's going to be a link in the email down below where you can click register and it'll send you the link for it. So I need to know how many spots I have in there. Number two, um, I am both saving deals and capturing deals right now for one simple technique and it makes all the difference and you need to kind of get a good idea of whether your loan officer are, is doing this and that's asking the right questions. We've had deals that fall apart recently because other loan officers aren't asking the right questions when it comes to structuring and calculating income, whether it be clients who uh, are IHSS and they've got multiple streams of income uh, from different care clients they are being caregivers for. And by simply asking the right questions, it, it's not a declining income. They just need to average it in a different way and it's good to go. So stuff like that makes a difference. And I was able to save a transaction because I talked to them after they signed the cancellation, but before it was submitted. And within a few hours, I had it back in, uh, back in process and did not have to cancel. So that's a great example. On the other side, asking good questions when it comes to someone who is very, very well qualified could look like, hey, you have tons of assets in reserves with your retirement accounts right now. Have you looked at doing an asset loan instead of withdrawing money for your down payment? That would give you better options, better terms. And in the best case scenario, you use that instead of getting a mortgage and you can buy all cash as opposed to buying with a mortgage. That doesn't help me, but it does help you a lot. So I do that with the idea that you're going to be so overwhelmed and grateful with uh, um, that I helped you, even though I didn't make any money, that you're going to refer tons of friends and family to both me and the realtor we are working with. So great examples. Number one, uh, if you want to come get the guideline updates and the program updates every Wednesday at 4.45, I'm sorry, 4.30, uh, respond to the link down below. And number two, if you have any clients that may need a second look, see if I can get a deal approved for them. Give me a call. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Brian Hoffman. So funny.